I'm going to tell you how motorcycle accident claims and settlements work in Florida. We're going to cover everything from right after the accident through you hopefully getting your settlement money. Most motorcycle accident settlements are paid by the other driver's insurance company. There are two ways to know who the other driver's insurance company is. Number one, they showed you their insurance card at the scene. And number two, the police officer wrote the name of the insurance company and the policy number on the crash report. There's three big insurance companies that you may think are great, but they actually fight motorcycle crash cases hard. They are Progressive, Allstate, and State Farm. The at-fault driver's auto insurance company will ask you if you were on a motorcycle during the accident. Big insurance companies like Geico and others use more experienced representatives to handle claims if you are on a motorcycle instead of in a car. They do this for two reasons. First, when a motorcyclist crashes, the injuries are often much much more severe than what car passengers face. This means the case may be potentially worth much more. Another big reason insurance companies often use different reps for motorcycle claims is the following. Proving injuries from a motorcycle crash is more straightforward. On a bike, you're exposed directly facing the unforgiving pavement or the large size of an other vehicle. You don't have a protective metal shell around you like in a car. You're very vulnerable. But don't think it's easy to prove that the motorcycle crash caused your injuries. Insurance companies pay millions of dollars every year to doctors who will examine you and say that the motorcycle crash did not cause your injury. The other driver's insurance company will assign a claims representative to handle your claim. Let me give you an example of this using a true story. Joe was riding a motorcycle when a truck hit him. As a result of the impact, Joe broke his leg and finger and had surgery. Joe hired me as his lawyer. Eventually, the truck's insurance company assigned a claims specialist three to handle the claim. A claim specialist three deals with claims that usually have a large value or potential value. After an intense battle, I settled the case for $445,000. The adjuster is going to ask you if you were wearing a helmet when the vehicle hit you. They're asking this because they wanna to try to pay you much less if you weren't wearing a helmet. But whether you wore a helmet only matters if you're claiming a head or brain injury. Most cars in Florida are required to have at least $10,000 in property damage damage liability coverage. This is called PD coverage. The other driver's PD coverage pays damages to your motorcycle or your property if the other driver is at fault. If your motorcycle is badly damaged and the other driver only has $10,000 in PD coverage, you'll need to do the following. Quickly make a claim with your collision coverage on your motorcycle insurance policy. If you're claiming an injury, the other driver's insurance company will assign a bodily injury liability adjuster to your claim. Bodily injury is called BI. The BI liability adjuster handles payment to you for your medical bills, lost wages, and your pain and suffering. But the insurance company will only assign a BI adjuster if the other driver has BI coverage. Here's some bad news. Unlike PD coverage, in Florida, most drivers aren't required to have any BI coverage. And as a result, many drivers don't have this coverage. In fact, the most common BI limit in Florida is only $10,000. This is horrible if you're seriously injured. Here's a pro tip. Ask the other driver's insurance company how much BI coverage their driver has. In a moment, I'll tell you what to do if the other driver has no BI coverage. The other driver's claim adjuster will determine who they think is at fault for the crash. There's a new Florida law that's horrible for motorcycle riders when it comes to proving fault. If you're over 50% for causing the crash in Florida, the other driver doesn't owe you any money. Florida's law is much worse than many other state laws in this regard. Earlier, I promised to tell you what to do if the other driver that hit you has no BI coverage. Right after the crash, you need to set up a claim with your motorcycle insurance company. This is true even if the other driver is 100% at fault. Look at your motorcycle insurance policy and see if you have med pay coverage. That pays for your medical bills up to the med pay limit. Med pay coverage on your motorcycle is optional in Florida. There's a huge mistake that motorcycle riders make after the crash and it delays their settlement. They don't give their motorcycle med pay insurance and their health insurance to the hospital and other doctors. 
Hospitals are told not to ask you for your health insurance if you've been in a motorcycle crash. You should disregard this and give both your med pay and your health insurance to the hospital or doctors. This may result in you owing much less money to the hospital and doctors. And as a result, you may get much more money in your pocket if you settle your motorcycle accident case. There's another coverage that's much more valuable than your med pay coverage. And this coverage pays for your medical bills, lost wages, and pain and suffering if the other driver is at fault. If you have this coverage on your motorcycle, it pays you if the other driver is uninsured or underinsured. So what's this valuable insurance called? It's called uninsured motorist coverage, often known as UM coverage. But what if your motorcycle wasn't insured or you didn't have UM coverage on your motorcycle? There's still two other places for you to look for UM coverage. If you have UM coverage on your other vehicles, it may pay you even though you were on a motorcycle when the crash happened. If you have non-stacking coverage on your cars, it likely won't cover you if you owned the motorcycle that you were riding. But there's another type of UM coverage that may cover you even if you were riding an uninsured motorcycle that you own. In fact, this type of UM coverage is so good that it'll cover you even if you were in a submarine as long as a motor vehicle hit you. It's called stacking UM coverage. Stacking UM coverage from your cars will cover you even if you were on an uninsured motorcycle at the time of the crash. But your own UM coverage isn't the only place to look for additional coverage that may pay you big. If you lived with relatives who have UM coverage on their cars or vehicles, their UM may also pay you. Once you know your medical bills, lost wages, and pain and suffering amount, you can estimate the value of your case. When both your and the insurance company's case value estimates meet, that's when you may able to quickly settle your case. The thing is, if you really want to have the best odds at a large settlement, knowing how motorcycle accident claims work isn't enough on its own. There's actually three common ways to lose your motorcycle accident case. And I found that if you're facing one of these huge challenges, then you won't get the large settlement that you're after. And that's why you should watch this video that's here and linked in the description below, because it's going to take what you've learned and make it 10 times more powerful, maybe even 100 times. And if you are seriously injured in a motorcycle crash in Florida and you think that someone else may be at fault, click the link in the description below to see if I could be the lawyer for you.